All right, here we are with another episode of Fact or Fish Story. Hey, you know the rules, but real quick, Alton Jr. again. You know what? He almost got me on the last one, <laughs> but the rules. Junior, you got two stories. One's a fact and one's a fish story. And I'm the I'm the I'm the bloodhound in this. I gotta figure it out. So let's get to it. Let's do this. I'm gonna trick you this time. You ready? No, you're not gonna trick me. So for my first story. Weirdest fish catch ever. I'm on the Rio Grande, Lake Falcon, cranking along. I catch a grandfather clock off a fish I've caught a lot of, place I've caught a lot of fish before. Second story, Lake Livingston, and I'm fishing along. A buddy says, what in the world about that time? I hear a big old splatter on the back of the boat. We're fishing a team tournament. A mallard laid an egg in flight, landed in my boat. Had he not seen it lay it, he's a duck hunter. I would have thought somebody egged my boat from the woods. Grandfather clock. Mm -hmm. <laughs> was it still working? I mean, it wasn't ticking, <laughs> but I mean, I guess you get a clock worker up in there and maybe get some of that rust off. It's probably worth some money. I Did you bring it home? No, I didn't. I left it in the lake. I mean, it was a good fishing spot. You don't mess up a good no, you, don't you don't pull a brush pile off a fishing no, spot. No, you put it right back. I mean, but what am I going to do with a big old muddy, moggy clock? I mean, I, I don't. I don't know. I, I mean, I don't know. yeah, it's a good catch in my book. I took a waypoint on it. I'm gonna I fish would, it. I fish I'd it if we it. ever go back there. I bump it's it probably over. dry right now. You probably go pull it off the throw off a square bill at it. Yeah, there you this go. This time, don't need diver. Is yeah. it that low? Yeah, it was okay. super low. It, uh, I guarantee it's on the bank right yeah. now. All right. <laughs> no, no, the the whole duck in mid flight though. I mean, splat on the back deck of your boat. Yeah, what right, if that right on you? his rods. Oh really? Right, you know, you know how the co angler yeah, rods yeah. lay right there, yeah. and uh, he's a duck hunter, and he's one of them guys the duck can't fly by, and he's not looking at it like like a dog. Was that duck by itself? I believe so. I did not see the duck lay the egg. Okay, was it I, just one by itself? I assume. I guess we spooked it. Out. We were kind of in the back of a pocket. Yeah. It's just springtime. I was trying to sight fish. But it was a mallard. He said. He said it was a mallard hen. Mallard hen, not a mallard drake. Not a mallard drake. All right. Two very believable stories, but I I don't know why somebody would throw a, like a cuckoo clock, grandfather clock into the lake right there other than to throw their crankbaits at it. But a for a duck to lay an egg mid-flight is not possible. That's not possible. I'm going with the fish story is the duck. The fact is the clock. What do I win? Because you're wrong. What? Laid an egg in flight, landed in the boat. There's no way! I swear. Man. All my life. Now, I did kind of steal the grandfather clock story. Oh, somebody else had it. My dad caught a grandfather clock one time cranking. Unbelievable. So, there's a little bit of truth to it. It just wasn't me. I can't win for nothing. You, you beat me win. last time. All you do is win. Well, that's another episode. I don't know what my record is now, but Junior got me on this one. Thanks, Alton Junior. Watch out for ducks flying. <laughs> I will. I'm like forever. <laughs> what is that?